What's up, y'all? My name is David, and welcome to the Prep Station. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Adobe Creative Cloud. I'll go over prices, show off the different packages, and even give a demonstration of the app. Let's jump in. Let's start off by looking at the packages and price plan Adobe has available. If you're interested in following along or want to buy one of the packages, there will be an affiliate link down in the description. For individuals, you can purchase a single application or the bundle package. The bundle comes with 20 plus Adobe apps and costs $54.99 a month. The most commonly used and popular Adobe apps cost $20.99 if you purchase them individually. This includes applications such as Photoshop, Premiere, Illustrator, and After Effects. I personally have the Premiere Pro individual plan that I use for video editing. I was tempted to go with the bundle package for Photoshop, but I've been using a free image editor for years that I'm pretty comfortable with. I still might upgrade in the future though for After Effects. Adobe also has business packages available. Let's check those out real quick. See, the price are higher here, $84.99 for the bundle and $35.99 for a single app, and that is per license. Adobe also offers student and teacher discounts who can get all the apps bundle package for just $19.99. That's $35 cheaper than a normal plan, so definitely take advantage of that if you qualify. Next up, we're going to check out the app. Here is the main page that you will see when you open the app. Right here in the middle, you'll find all the apps that you've bought. As you can see here, I have Premiere Pro and the media encoder that comes with it. There are also a couple of free apps that come with the plan, such as Premiere Rush and Photoshop Express. The links to the left column mostly lead back to products on the website, so I'm not going to click all of those. The main menu is up here at the top. We're currently in apps. If you click on files, you will see all the files you have saved in the cloud, and you can navigate to your libraries in the left column over here. You'll also find anything that has been shared with you and everything you've deleted. If you click Discover, you'll find some nice tutorials for the various apps you've purchased. I haven't used this function yet as I had a decent understanding of the app when I purchased it, but the videos look to be pretty short so they could be helpful and not too spammy. You can also find a treasure trove of tutorials on YouTube for all of the Adobe apps. And last but not least, we have the Marketplace stock and marketplace page. This is where you can find various plugins for the apps, stock video, new fonts, you name it. Adobe is one of the biggest brands in software, so there is a huge marketplace for plugins. It's really helpful and there's a ton of free options available. Those are the main menu options. Let's check out the rest of the app controls. If you click the three bars over here, you'll find additional options. Most importantly, you will find the option to close the app under file here. You have to do this to turn off Creative Cloud. If you hit the main X over here, it will just minimize the app. There are more shortcuts here in the help section uh, if you need additional instruction. On the top right, we have the search function, font options, notifications, and cloud settings. And here you can find your access to your main Adobe Creative Cloud account. So that's Adobe's Creative Cloud app. I've had this plan for about three years now and I'm super happy with it. Adobe is a well-known and respected company and they make amazing products. Photoshop and Premiere are pretty much top of the line consumer software in their respective fields. I think the individual programs are worth it even for hobbyists at just $20 a month. Back in the day you had to shell out hundreds of dollars for Adobe software. At this price it really opened up to a lot more people. $50 a month is a bigger commitment but the value is definitely there. If you're monetizing your content online, this is a great investment to up your quality. Well, that about wraps things up. If you're looking for affordable gear to help put these programs to work, I've got some product reviews linked at the end of this video. But before you go, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're enjoying the content, please subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.